Palo Alto, California, and Stanford Stadium, the site for this incredible football game. And now we bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Fielded at the nine. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The Ducks and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop at the 43. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain and a first down. Makes it first and ten. From the 36-yard line, first down. Fakes to the back. He launches one for the end zone. He's all the way home. Touchdown. They look awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 67-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Number seven to return. It's fielded at the two. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Kickoff returns 20 yards. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 20 yard line, second down. Here they come, and he is drilled at the 13. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. The Ducks with a touchdown lead. Fourth and long here after the sack. Two 
And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. When you're a quarterback and you start this close to the end zone, your eyes just light up when you take the field. Conversely, the defense is thinking, uh-oh, we can't let him get another one so quickly. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. So the sack makes this a second and long. Oregon is up a score. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. He's scrambling, and he might want it all here, and does! And it's intercepted! He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He's under pressure. Caught, and he's hit immediately. They're about four yards away here on third down. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. We played a half of football here. Oregon's lead is a touchdown. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Oregon's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, man, left, so man, predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Number 98, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second to seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 35. They'll bring him down at the 
44. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Second and seven. Ball on the 48-yard line. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. Gain of three yards. That makes it third and three. it fly we head to the final quarter and we've got a great game on our hands seven nothing welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four just under two to go in the game And it's incomplete. incomplete. Number 98, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 10. So we're looking at another third down here. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. The defense scoops it up. And he tackles him hard at the 38. Once the ball hits the ground, it's a matter of luck and will. And on that play, it was the defensive end who corralled it for his side. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Got an opening. He's at midfield. He's finally tackled at the 32-yard line. Stanford's going to use their first time out of the half here. An amazing run. This kid was moving. Man, no kidding. This guy can fly. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Stanford's going to have to use their second time out of the half. They can't hang with us. Tackle at the 29. Stanford will take their final timeout. They need to get it to the 22. In the shotgun and five wideouts. It's an active receiver and he can't hang on. The quarterback has to be very careful, Brad, of throwing the football into a position where the wide receiver has a chance to get his head taken off. He threw the ball there and it made it easy for the defender to be able to separate him from the ball. Kick is, it's a fake. He's got the corner. He's at the 20, and he's tackled around the 16-yard line. The defense was caught in their heels. They were napping. They were looking for the field goal the whole time. First and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. 
the 10. Brought down right around the six-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Ducks are so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man. And, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way. He splits the uprights with the extra point. This defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. They've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 35. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. Under heavy pressure. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. You know, he's been working really hard lately on his fundamentals. In fact, the other day in practice, I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looked like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. Under a minute left in the game. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. Number 32 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Caught open field, and he hits him hard at the 18. Unbelievable he's, he's, pass. He's they don't care what down is. Spikes the ball. That makes it second and ten. From the 18-yard line, it's second down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. The spike will stop the clock. Second and goal. It's second and goal. All on the two. Let's go. And they make the stop at the one yard line. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Number 39, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. So they're going to go for it here. Defense and their short yardage package. Looks to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown. Big, big touchdown through the air, and now it's a one-score game. And he converts the extra point. the 
42. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. Neither team could muster much of an offense today. It's final. 14-7, Oregon. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.